Wake up! Wake up, wake up, it's time to rise and sing the praise of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. It's time to rise, to rise, to sing, to, sing, to, shout, to shout, to bring him all your heart, he'll do the bigger part, if you will only make a start. It's time to give him all your heart, and only you can make a start. Wake up! Have you seen a ball thrown down to a cemented floor, and then it hold down the ground and continue forcing downward? Well, if you have seen a scenario like this, then it's high time to reject the correctness of the Newton's third law of motion. Oftentimes, the law here is just very simple. What is thrown down upon hitting the surface will bounce up, and that is because when the lowest point is reached, the next up is to counterpoint. Friends. This is the 7 Minutes with God today, and this is still your online inspirational evangelist, Brother Noy Gonzaga, inviting you to experience God first thing when starting a day. Let us enlighten our path with this gem found in James 1, verses 2 and 3. It says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Oftentimes, we hear people saying, what more? After this failure, what more? Well, people in a downward slope will always think that life's falling will have no more ending and it seemed to be an eternity of negative impacts in ourselves. However, we fail to realize that life is just a cycle. What goes down must go up. Or what goes down must go up for that is the normal existence of gravity and force. The life of Abraham Lincoln is one classic example of this cyclic behavior of life's routines. Remember, he failed almost 10 times in his political career. But one day, when the deepest of his falls reached the ultimate point, it bounced back and he became the president of the most powerful sovereign in the world, the United States of America. The life of Michael Phelps is also a testament of this bouncing ball theory of life. Remember, Michael was autistic and needs to be into a lot of prohibitions. He cannot freely join any activities because he has a condition to look after with, which, when uncontrolled, may put his life in danger or put others into compromise. However, his greatest setbacks in life were always poured out late in the afternoon when he will have his regular swim to expel unneeded energy and bring back control to himself. Michael proceeded to become one of the world's greatest athletes ever. Michael Phelps still holds the record of the most number of gold medals in an Olympic season, which is eight. Yes, he bounced back hard after life tried to pull him down very hard. The life of Job in the Bible one of the labeled perfect individuals can be the greatest example of this phenomenon. We all know how little by little Job lost everything in life. His dominion, his cattle, his plantations, his properties, and even his family members. However, at the end point, when God has already proven his point in faith and loyalty, or in the faith and loyalty of Job, Job bounced back with several folds of his path network or his past net worth and assets, meaning he was several times richer and more production of his uh, former wealth was seen. He is more productive than his original state before he was pulled down to suffer the worst. Friends, this is a trend in life that science may have proven, but beyond that, God wanted to stress a point. Remember, man's weakness is God's opportunity. Whenever man is strong, favored, rich, full of opportunities, and superb in intelligence, the tendency is he forgets God. He forgets that everything comes from God, and he forgets that everything is because of God. He will focus on his dominion and richness. 
he will talk about how he labored for such a productive success that he has now. The most noticeable things here is, in man's greatness, God is almost always the collateral lost. We forget God in our greatness. So God permits situations in life that may pull us down, that may let us fall down, that may crumple our foundations to drop hard to the ground. When we are at the point of nothing, we can always do one thing. Look up to the heavens and say, Lord, please help me. When there is already a cognizance that we cannot live by our own strength and we need God to conquer our greatest weaknesses in life, God is now ready to join us in bouncing back to the greatness of life. Oftentimes, we need a hard fall in order to remember that we have a great God who is just around ready to help us and travail life's greatest challenges as our partners. As the cliché goes, sometimes we need the bump to bring us back to reality. Yes, dear friends, there are many experiences of great people which will always start with how they fall and then they get up from that. With how they crawled and managed to get to their feet and run. With how they lie flat on the ground yet managed to stand and prove to the world of the change that happened. Science will call this as a bouncing ball theory. But the Bible will call this as a normal routine of reminder when people forget God and how they can come back to God because of great experiences, hard experiences, and even challenging experiences midway they met that caused them to go back to the real and living God. Friends, when we are already too down in our lives, let us be thankful. Why? Because at the point of impact or at the last point of falling, the next thing that will happen is we will bounce back and go upwards and become successful and happy. When we fall, that is only because we are in route to learning how to bounce back later and how to bounce back better. In life, when we fail, that is because we need that experience to make us stronger when we are already reaping our successes. Remember, God permits these falls, these crawls, and these hardships because He wants us to treasure the things that we are neglecting in our faith. However, when we overcome and get past these great waves in our lives, we will now appreciate the faith we are clinging to, the faith that we have to God. Yes, when it comes to letting man understand the greatness of God, often it is hard to explain or rationalize, but everything results into divine successes, for in this routine, we still have to experience yet a first failure. So in this journey of a bouncing life, Remember, God and God alone can be the greatest difference after we experience the bounce.
Let us not forget, when we are in our deepest, we are already nearing the point of being in the highest. Science will prove that the hardest hit on us will not cause us to disintegrate lower, but rather equal the force that went down with the force that goes up. So be happy when we are almost to give up. Why? Because we are in the direction of going up for a greater success in life. This is the 7 Minutes with God today. Have a great experience with God in terms of bouncing back with greater happiness. Wake up, wake up. It's time to rise and sing the praise of Jesus. Hallelujah. It's time to rise, to rise and sing, to sing, to shout, to, shout, to bring Him all your heart. He'll do the good part if you will only make us fun. Wake up! Wake up!